Hey guys, so uh, I just want to talk a little bit about, see, I'm making a semi comeback right now, you know, because this, you know, what I'm about to talk about has been really kicking my butt. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to talk about uh, my experience with having tuberculosis. Now, if you played uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, you would know that uh, in the very early 20th century, well, actually that... The setting for that game was in 1899, so it wasn't the 20th century just yet. Uh, but anyways, in the very early 20th century and the very late 19th century, tuberculosis was a death sentence, okay? If, if you got it, you would die eventually. But, you know, sorry. Nowadays, tuberculosis is very treatable. Uh, with with the right treatments and the medicines uh, you take, you will you will get over it. Okay, you will uh, get over the sickness. It will take you. It will take a while. Okay, see, I still have tuberculosis, but it's gonna take me a while, you know, for it to completely leave my system. And also, uh, <clears throat> during you know. During the last while you have it, you won't really, you know, feel it anymore. You won't be suffering with it, but it'll still be in your system. It'll it'll take a while for you to get rid of it. Uh, but on to my experience, okay? See, a week before I actually tested positive for it, uh, I thought, see, I was feeling very weak. I was having fever spikes that made me feel like I was sitting inside of a furnace. <laughs> and, uh, I was, every time I took a deep breath, that hurt my chest a little bit. See, the week before I actually went to the hospital, uh, to get myself checked out and to eventually test positive for tuberculosis, I thought I just had some bad respiratory bug that would eventually go away. But a week later, uh, I ended up, I had a fever of 102.7, okay? And because of that, I went to the ER, okay? And I had a CT scan done on my chest, and that's where they found uh, a mass on my lung, okay? that It wasn't a cancerous ma mass, okay? It was tuberculosis, okay, like I said. Uh, I spent an entire week in a hospital. I transferred to another hospital that was three hours away from where I live, okay? And I stayed there for an entire week. And you guys know that staying many nights in a hospital, if you've done it before, you know that you can't get really good rest there, okay? You can't get really good rest at a hospital. And uh, see, I was still having this trouble with these really uncomfortable fever spikes and that, that that made me feel so freaking hot like usually with a, when, when you're having a fever you have chills but I was fe I was just feeling like I was sitting inside of a 500 degree oven when I when I had these fever spikes and and I because of that I just I just didn't wear a chest for the I didn't wear a shirt I didn't wear a shirt for the majority of the time that I was in the hospital laying in the hospital bed. I didn't wear a shirt and I had other problems too. Like there there's a couple problems with with my tuberculosis that I'm still having right now that I'm still not fully over. I still have a very low appetite. You know, whenever I eat something I just get full so fast, especially protein, even though right now I really need protein. Uh and Another problem I'm still having right now is fatigue. I'm still feeling, you know, very tired, you know, a lot. And I'm also not not getting the best sleep at night because, you know, with this illness, it's, it's going to give you sleep interruption. Uh, but the symptoms I'm not having anymore, I'm not having those fever spikes anymore. And, you know, during my time in the hospital, I also had a lot of nausea. I was I was throwing up a pretty good lot. And yeah, I spent a week in the hospital and it it was a, it was a really, really rough week. It was a very, very, very rough week because 
you know, like I said, you're you're not going to get good rest at a hospital throughout the night because because the nurses are going to be coming in and checking your vitals a lot. And I was getting so so much blood work, like they they got so much blood work out of me that I'm surprised that I still have I still even have blood in my body. Like it was crazy. Like the the amount of times that the, that that they pricked the middle of my arm was insurmountable getting getting a lot of blood out of me like it 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 was crazy like they they did a huge bunch of blood work on me you know just you know to you know they just need to do blood work to make sure you know your cells and everything else is fine okay my white blood count did go up a pretty good lot on some days you know be, because with the sick with when you when you have a sickness like that your white blood count is going to go up a few times okay that's just going to happen uh <clears throat> but yeah i still currently have tuberculosis it's going to take me a while for it to leave my system but i'm not you know feeling super miserable like i did uh a couple weeks ago well not not a couple weeks ago but like i think I think it started for me four weeks ago exactly, or f four or five weeks ago. I don't exactly remember, but uh, let me just tell you guys something. Uh, see, I may have been exposed to this a, a very long time ago. The thing is, though, my immune system was more normal at the time, you know, that I may have been exposed to it. My immune system got lower throughout the past few months because of a medicine that I was taking for my ulcerative colitis. You guys don't know, I have ulcerative colitis. I made a video about it a long time ago. Um, but yeah, I, I had to take a new medicine for it and it was like a steroidal shot and it was lowering my immune system. I'm not taking that medicine anymore beca because of that, you know, and I have to, I've been having to recently take supplements to increase my immune system since this illness happened. And, you know, I've been eating a lot of, fr of fruits with vitamin C in them as, as of lately as well. Uh, yeah. Like I said, this this tuberculosis, it's going to take a while for it to leave my system, but it eventually will. And I'm not feeling, you know, super miserable anymore. And I got to tell you guys something. If you... <laughs> if you have never had this infection before... You will survive it, okay? Like I said, it's very treatable nowadays. You will survive it, but you do not want it. You you absolutely do not want this infection, okay? It is by far, by far the absolute worst sickness I've ever had. By far. I would rather have the flu a thousand times before having tuberculosis again. Like, it is literally... It made me feel so miserable. Like like I said, fever spikes that made me feel like I was inside of a furnace. Uh, constant nausea, very low appetite, fatigue all the time. You, you do not want it. It, it. it sucks. It absolutely sucks having this. So, but yeah, that's been my experience with TB. Uh what did you guys think of it? Did you th did you find it interesting? Uh, let me know. But that's pretty much all I had to say about it. Uh, maybe in a couple days I'll have a a new gameplay video up. I'm kind of burnt down on doing reactions right now, so I think I'm just gonna have a new gameplay video up in a few in a, maybe a two or three days. Uh, so look forward to that. You know, in the meantime, I'll see you guys later.